Hi guys, I'm Jolie, a Jolie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start my December vlog. And yes, I look messy, but I couldn't be bothered to put on makeup for a vlog. I feel like that's stupid. Even though I really want to look good in all my December videos, but I'm going to vlog my December because I have a lot of cool things. I'm going to a party this Saturday. It's December 1st, by the way. I'm going to a party on Saturday. I'm going to visit my mother on Saturday as well. Then I also have another party later in December and I also have a Christmas dinner and I am way too excited. Let me show you the presents I have bought for everyone in my family. Like, I will show you. So, this on top of here is um, are the presents for my mother and my stepfather and I have written a um, a Christmas message to all of my family members with a little quote um, right here. Then I have the presents for my brother and my sister and her boyfriend in this box and in the box underneath that one like all down there is for my um, father and his girlfriend. So I have quite a lot of presents like no we don't do presents um, in our family we don't normally celebrate Christmases either. I felt like I wanted to do it this time around. I feel so happy when I can buy presents for everyone and be all happy with everyone. And this is the first time we're all kind of together, except for my mother and her boyfriend who won't be at the Christmas dinner. So I wanted to celebrate that and make everyone happy. And my sister and her boyfriend have gotten a baby in uh, last September. Uh, I haven't gotten her a present because I've bought her a lot of presents already and she's obviously only like three months old. So um, she can't really celebrate Christmas and she hasn't gotten all enough to buy another kind of present I haven't bought already, if you know what I mean. So kind of bought everyone a present and I am so excited to celebrate with my whole family. Like I love my family and I am way too excited for this. So what I hope I can do is vlog my December and make a pretty vlog out of this that you will enjoy, keep it snappy and short and just an overall fun experience. You will also see a lot of the same look this month around because I have bought a new blouse with hearts on it. You will know the look when you see it. I'm going to wear it three times this month. I've already planned my outfits. I'm going to wear it to my mother's this Saturday. I'm going to wear it to the party later in December and I'm going to go to my Christmas dinner so everyone almost all my friends and my family will have seen it but I, I just love it so much and I think it's so chic and I just want to wear it you also see it in my regular December videos because I filmed in December once while I was wearing it but I am too excited I have said, said this a couple times already but I love my family I love spending time with them and I don't get to do that a lot so December is going to be a month of gratitude.
back home now. It's still Saturday. Uh, I didn't film at my mom's because obviously they don't want me to film there. It would be a bit weird. I'm currently watching Grey's Anatomy. And I am going to get ready in a moment. I'm going to shower and get ready and do my makeup again because I know I look like a mess. But I'm at home. I changed into this and I probably will film some things in the party. Not sure though, but you will see it in the next clips and otherwise we will just skip this part i guess hi guys it's 6 p.m and i am all changed and makeup into my party clothes and i will show you because i'm standing right in front of a mirror so you can't really see it but i'm wearing a t-shirt with a girl on it who has painted on her face a school face and then i'm wearing faux leather shorts leggings then i have these knee-high socks and my Chelsea boots from H&M all new by the way and I really like this look I have also another mirror right here which you may be able to see clearly this by the way is not my room, this is my dad's room he has all the mirrors in the house so this is what I look like and this is what my makeup looks like so I feel quite happy with my look maybe Nah, I want to say maybe it's a bit much, but I think I look good. I do. I'm just not sure if I want my shirt in my shorts or over it because it's a really large shirt and it's right over my shorts, so it looks like I'm not wearing any pants, so that might be a problem. So I think I'm going to wear it like this. Quite like it. Hi guys, it's Sunday and it's the day after I went to the party I talked about earlier in the video and I obviously couldn't vlog a lot because I visited my mom and I'm not going to film at my mom's house and then I went to a party at my friend's house and there were like 12 people so I can't film there because they will ask what it's for and they probably don't want their faces up on the internet for other people to watch, especially not when they're drunk. Which we all were, by the way. Which is why my voice... I don't know if my voice sounds weird to me, it sounds weird, but... Um, which is why my voice sounds broken, if it does sound weird to you. But I had a fun time, but I'm not going to vlog that. Aside from that, I do want to talk about something else that is going on in my life right now. Um, my I live with my father, his girlfriend, and my brother. And my brother is 25. My father and his girlfriend are going to move out of the house. They are going to live somewhere else, close by, like a village close by. And my, the, uh, my father's girlfriend and my brother have a restaurant together. Uh, my father and his girlfriend are going to live above that restaurant. So they're going to live close by and I'm going to stay living here with my brother in this house. And obviously it's a very big thing. Like I'm 18, my father is... This is next week what I'm talking about, by the way. This is... Monday the 12th of December the movers are going to come and he's going to go and live somewhere else and obviously that's a very hard and hard thing and I was just thinking about this and I felt like I should address this and let you know what's going on in my life um like I don't know how I will adjust to this I have been waiting for my father and his girlfriend to move out for a couple of months now my brother had as well because obviously there is a moment in your life where you get older and you want you to have your own space you're getting annoyed with everything this person does and sometimes distance just works better and i think that that is the case that is the case here but obviously it's going to be hard when you have lived with your father for so many years and he is then going to live somewhere else and i'm only 18 like i'm just barely an adult and i I don't know how to feel about this, like, I'm happy that I'm going to get my own space, like, I'm home alone, I've been home alone all day since I got home from the party, because it was also a sleepover, and it's lovely, this is lovely, I love being home alone and just doing my own thing, and being able to vlog without anyone listening in, but it's also weird to constantly be alone, because my brother works six days a week in the restaurant, because he's the cook, and... It's going to be lonely without anyone there because my brother won't be there a lot. He also has a girlfriend, so um, when he's off, he wants to hang out with his girlfriend, which is logical. 
So, yeah, it's going to be lonely, but it's also going to be freeing. And I don't know how to feel about this right now. And I just want to share this with you because this is an honest thing. And maybe you have experienced something similar or maybe you have something to share with me. Because most of my viewers are older than me and obviously have moved out of the house maybe. So they can share their feelings with me and how they felt about that back then. Um, but I, I just wanted to, to say this to you. That was all. The party was lovely, by the way. The visit to my mom was lovely. I had a really fun time. It was good to see my mom. And it was good to see my friends and have a party. But I really regret drinking out all the alcohol I did. Like, I, I lost count of the drinks I had eventually. And then I woke up and had the biggest hangover ever. I'm just not a fun person the night off, um, the morning after. So, um... It's now night, by the way, so it's been a day. I have been napping and watching booktube and it's all okay. No, I feel fine. I'm going to get some, um, something to drink, not non-alcoholic in a minute. So yeah, I just wanted to update you on this and I will see you in the next clip. You know what the most annoying thing in the world is? Going out and forgetting to vlog. Like, I come home and I realise I could have vlogged my day. So now I just have to talk to you about it. I hope you don't mind. So I went out today because I had to get my certificate. And in the Netherlands, it is the case that when you finish your first year of college, you can get your certificate. And normally they have a whole ceremony around it. But because my year was longer than the average year, um, I could just get it. I didn't have to have a ceremony. I could have had it, but I didn't want it. So I just went and got my certificate i'm not going to show you because obviously this is it there's nothing on there because this is the back but obviously i'm not going to show you the college i'm going to or my full name or the place i was born like i trust you but some people are weird on the internet so i got my certificate and all of my grades i got throughout the year and i'm very happy with this because i need this to go to university next year and after I went to get my certificate, I w went out to the library, to the library, and I got two books um, that actually w weren't on my TBR, I believe. I was just walking through my library, and I saw these, and I thought, why not? So first, I saw Uprooted by Naomi Novik, and I have a hawk's eye on my library, like new um, new arrivals and everything. And I've never seen this come in. But I saw it and I was like, oh, this is the English edition of Uprooted. I need it. I don't like deco edges though. They look, it looks so old. But I really love this cover. And I don't know a lot about it, except for that there is a girl called Agnieszka and a man called the Dragon and a Tower. And there's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. That's all I know about it and all I want to know actually. And this is a fantasy, I'm very excited for this. Even though it was not on my TBR, I just saw it and I was like, I'm kind of in the mood for this. So I wanted to read this through um, in December. And then I also got, this is where it ends. And you see that, right, I have already started this on the bus back home. Uh, this is a very short book. And this is a book about a school shooting. It follows four teenagers during this uh, 54 minute school shooting. And I'm already really liking it. I think I'm going to go through it so quickly because it is under 300 pages. But I'm, I am enjoying it so far. Like, I think school shootings are really interesting things to read about. So I am very excited for this book and I am already reading it. I want to finish it probably this week. I didn't even tell you what day it is. It is, today is Wednesday the 7th of December, I believe. I have already vlogged way too much in the past couple of days. Like, I really need to edit this. Hi guys, it's been a while. It's December 20th, meanwhile. And I haven't gone to the second party I told you about because I didn't know anyone there. One of my, one of my friends wasn't coming. And one of my friends wasn't invited. So I was like, uh, I'll make it up to you. So I'm going to hang out with her during Christmas break. And I also made arrangements to go midget golfing with a friend of mine and we and it's going to be a glow-in-the-dark midget golfing. It's really cool. I will insert some pictures after this clip so you can see it. But that will probably be in this video, otherwise it will be in the January video. But I guess it's really fun. I also still have my Christmas dinner and that will be inserted in here a little bit maybe. Let's see how much I can film. But today I am going to 
get some extra groceries and I am going to a library. So maybe I will remember to film this time around and I can show you around my library a little bit. Let's hope so. Head into the library, you obviously want to know what I have taken with me. First of all, I've taken Nocturnes by Kazuo Ishiguro. These are five stories of music at nightfall, so I believe these are just five short stories by Kazuo Ishiguro. I've never read anything by this author before, but I had this on my TBR for a long, long time. And since it's short, like all these three books are below 300 pages, um, because I want to stuff some books into December to up my reading goal still a little bit. I thought I would take this with me right now. The next one I took with me is The Outsiders by S.C. Hinton. This is a modern classic about gangs, I believe. No, it's about the poor people against rich people, I believe. And this is obviously about Pony Boy. This is where the quote came from. And um, I've heard a lot of, of people talking about this, so I thought I would pick it up. Like, look at how short it is. It is so short. Also, it looks very dirty. Like, what are these pages? Like, what the hell? But okay. And the last book I took with me is Good Morning Midnight by Lily Brooks Dalton. This one I had on my wish list for the library. And I saw it and took it with me. I have don't really know what this is about. I did know. Um, let's see. It's about Augustine, a brilliant aging scientist. She gets news of a catastrophic event at a remote research center in the Arctic Circle. That is what this is. She is. This is about people on the North Pole, I believe. Like there are two people on the North Pole. There's always a little Dutch description on the inside of this. Um, a base on the North Pole with two inhabitants, a scientist and a girl is isolated from the rest of humanity and a spaceship loses contact with earth and then there is a question what connects them both so it's about a spaceship and two inhabitants of the north pole and it just sounds really cool and the cover is beautiful although i don't see people in a tent or North Pole, but hey, who am I to judge? Hi guys, I obviously couldn't film my Christmas dinner, it's Christmas day, but I didn't want to shove my phone camera into my family's faces, but I can show you the presents I got. The first one is this necklace, it's a four leaf clover, I'm going to try and show the necklace to you, but it's very hard because I film on my iPhone camera. This is the necklace, so I hope you can see it. So it's a four leaf clover. My first girlfriend also had these things, um, these beautiful sayings for all of us, and I got this one. If there is light in the soul, there will be beauty in the person, proverb. And I thought that was beautiful, so I stuck it onto my whiteboard. And the last thing I got was this Eminem advent calendar. I know it's already Christmas when I'm filming this. But I am definitely going to use this advent calendar for the next 24 days. I've already taken the first one, which was right there. Um, it's Eminem and Friends, and it basically has Snickers, Eminem's, Mars, bars, that kind of thing. I haven't opened the candy for today, though. So let's put this over here. And let's see. Oh, this is uh, not working. Like, I want this to work out. Um, could this be a little easier? Oh, the first thing, I had a Snickers bar, and now I have a Bounty bar. I don't know if they actually know Bounties in English-speaking countries. So, yeah, I got this today. I'm not a fan of Snickers, I'm not a fan of Bounties, so not starting out very well. But I cannot wait, because the bigger blocks, like this one right here, are M&Ms. But this is day 15, so that's like... A while away <laughs> but let's eat this bounty maybe i will like it now i don't think i will but maybe 
Hi guys, I just got home. It's December 27th and a girlfriend of mine is coming to watch a movie here. But she's a bit later because she woke up with a bloody nose. Um, that happens sometimes. But I did go and get some snacks. So I got some Twix mini bars, some Haribo snacks. I think these are... Um, this is cola roulette, which is obviously Coca Cola tasted, and then I have these Smarties, which are basically mini M Ms, and then I don't know this brand, but when you see them, you obviously notice what it is. I have no clue what they are called. Sour Patches, I believe in English. So yeah, I have those, and then these. Too. so I think that will be enough for a movie day <laughs> at least I hope so um, and then that's it basically I also have some things to drink in the fr in the fridge but, but the groceries are coming tomorrow so it's kind of um, hard because I do not have many things to drink in the fridge like I have maybe three things in there like this is my fridge right now this, this is the fridge. I know. I know. Hi, it is currently the middle of January, so December has ended. Happy New Year! <laughs> um, and I saw I hadn't ended the vlog properly, but this was my December vlog. I thought I would vlog my December because I went to do quite a lot, but I don't think I'm going to vlog anything else. Like, I haven't done much in January, for example, up until now. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and... I will see you in another video.